Hey Noob, how's it going? Got my uh, my little uh, Tootsie warmer on. How's work going? at work. Is it dead there? Don't start this lag again. Good. Dead is good. We like dead. I'll be on there. What time are you finishing? Because I'll be on, if I'm still awake, be on GTA a bit later. Yeah, no worries. I'll take care of checking the personal details, or you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. 
Talk to the driver and take a look at his load. Take a look at his load, hey? Is this a standard procedure for immobilized vehicles? No, it isn't, but it complies with an unwritten rule. And what would that be? Follow your instincts. Got it. Hello. Why have you stopped here on the autobahn? Hello. The tractor won't go anymore. I think there's something wrong with the engine. This location is not completely safe. It's good that you set up the warning light anyway. Have you called the breakdown service yet? Yes. They should be here in a few minutes. Could I take a look at your load? Why? Well, if you have to. Thanks. What do we have here? This looks interesting. What do you want with that piece of cloth? Well, I'm following my instincts, your words. I'll talk to the driver again. Everything seems to be in order, but we found this on one of the boxes. A piece of cloth? Yes. And? It looks like a piece of a shirt to me. Have you injured yourself? What? No, no. I'm completely fine. Maybe one of my colleagues tore their shirt while loading the vehicle. Is it all right if I take it with me? The cloth? No. Help yourself. Thanks. Just make sure that you get your lorry out of here. And be careful until the breakdown service gets here. Goodbye. Yes, I'll do that. Hey noob. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. I oh, know you're at work, it's all good. <clears throat> oh, the van was too slow to evil. It was, uh, Doing, doing my head in because uh, I'm doing missions now well I mean I've just done one there like not free mode so um, I'm going to do pull over one more car and then I'll do another mission so some of the driving in the missions is like 20 kilometers and the van is just too slow what is what's going on there
Yeah, I'm actually... I think I'm going to try and get Platinum Trophy on this game. It doesn't doesn't seem that difficult to get. Like, so this woman, this is Oliver Koch, right? And I've written down notes because they're always doing the same things. So she is drunk, according to my notes, and she's got no first aid kit. So we'll uh, have a look in our boot. I'll come back to you shortly. <laughs> she's got white hair. First aid kit missing. So she's going to be arrested. Have you been drinking? Nope. Well, not much. She's been but a naughty girl. Good. Yes, she and has. And that little glass of bubbly. And two shorts. Oh, now I'm saying it out loud. It doesn't sound like that little. Your first aid kit is missing. Oh damn. I only recently took it out and forgot to put it back in the boot. You'll have to come with me. Please step out of the vehicle. Oh, 21 kilometer drive back. I, could, I, I might TP back actually. I'm not driving 21 kilometers. I want to do the next mission. Arrested for just having a first aid kit. No, she was drunk as well. I think in Germany you have to have a first aid kit and a warning triangle because this game's set in Germany. But, um,. Yeah, so she was drunk, so yeah, she gets nicked. Have we got time to buy a quick donut? She can wait in the car while we get a donut. The usual, please. Here, freshly baked goods for our friend and helper. Mmm, delicious. Oh, that's a bit cheese, a bit cringe. That's one of the trophies, actually. Eat five donuts in a row. Hey, Patrick, um, Andrew, how's it going? Drunk on liquid L's. <laughs> L's for hurt. Right, let's go and see. Oh. Let's see if we can do an, a mission. How do I get out? I think it's a front desk mission, is it? I've got something for you. The stone I bet he has. <laughs> this time he said a car. The boss wants you to drive over there. Okay, we'll set up straight away. No, we won't. We get a donut first. We won't set up straight away. Actually, we will go there straight away. It's not far. Yep, open doors telepathically. Wish I could do that in real life. How's um, Resident Evil, by the way? I watched some of your stream earlier. What? One second. No way, I haven't blocked... Sean, I don't know if you can hear me. I've definitely not blocked you, bro. Hey, Ben, you should be working. <laughs> don't mention locations in the chat, Ben, or what we do for a living or anything. Oh, wow, you've... You've done the... Uh, you've finished Resident Evil. Have you got any, um... Got unlimited ammo yet? Well, what's going on here? Hey, <laughs> Kurtosh. <laughs> I 
We're not the police in this game, Curtis. We're the polizii. Whoop whoop, it's the sound of the polizii. Oh shit. Have a look in a section, but I haven't blocked anyone off YouTube unless one of the admins have. Checking the personal details before you speak to the people. To the be meantime, honest, you can take care of I else. don't, I don't even know how to check the block list. I've almost never block anyone. The personal details. Everything okay so far? Yep, these graphics on this game are just the best ever. Hey, who's an admin? Can the Patrick? Do you know how to check the block list and unblock someone? I don't know if the admins, that, like the mods, can do it, but I don't think I've ever blocked anyone from uh, from my YouTube. But uh, Sean can't comment apparently. <laughs> That's better, Kurt. <laughs> Hello. Could you perhaps describe to me how the accident happened? Yes, of course. So I was just under the bridge when I saw a quick movement. Something small and dark, flying through the air. I was thinking, that bird is flying strangely. Then I heard a crashing sound and saw the car in front of me slamming on the brakes. Of course, I instinctively braked immediately, but wasn't able to stop in time. Are you injured? No, luckily I was not going very fast when it happened. I'm a little shaky, but I'm okay. You saw a bird? No! I thought it was a bird at first. Of course, you always read about people throwing stones onto the autobahn, but you don't ever expect anything like that. Did you perhaps see anything else of interest? Yes, maybe. I heard you talking with your colleague about the stone that was thrown. We were at a rest stop not far from here, and they were paving new parking spaces there. The stones there look just like the one that caused this accident. It could just be a coincidence, but I wanted to tell you in any case. Thanks, that's useful information. Please mark the location on the map. Oh, she's asked him. To, she's she's asked him to set a waypoint on the map. Really? Cheers, AI. Oh, what's going on? Hello. Are you okay? Yes. I'm okay. You're in shock. I'll make this as quick as possible. Thanks. Feel free to go ahead and ask. Tell us what you saw. <laughs> Glitch free game gameplay. It all happened so quickly. All of a sudden there was a bang and the glass shattered. I hit the brakes, of course, and then there was another bang. Yes, I see. Thank you for your statement. The ambulance should be here any minute. They'll take care of you. I've got to find the brick now. Apparently, find the cause. Uh, find the cause of the accident. Or well, where's the brick then? Hmm. What's he doing? What the hell's he doing? Yeah, I know, they're PS2 graphics. Oh, what's this? Find the cause of the accident. How am I going to find that? Oh, there's the brick. It's on his windscreen. Yeah, cheers, Kurt. 
often used for surfacing autobahn spots. Unfortunately, there are too many construction sites to follow the trail directly. Oh, look at that. 1,400 points. Right, now we've got to go to the scene of the crime. It's not far. You're going to work for the... Polizia. Erzog needs to play this... <laughs> Right, let's get to the scene of the crime. Well, surely the crime was there. Yeah, riddles. Leave work. Decades. Yeah, this is GTA Six. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if the cops were this shit in GTA 5, that GTA 5 would be much more playable. Yeah, we'll do Sean. Um, to be honest, I'm not that good with YouTube, like settings and stuff. Uh, I'd, I'd do that as soon as I can. I'm on my phone. I don't. Need, can you do that on your phone? Once again, lots of cigarette butts. Another 
the same brand. This certainly isn't a coincidence. This is our guy. And this time he's hit a vehicle. We need to catch him before something worse happens. Come on, let's head to the rest stop. Oh, Cops and Crooks was excellent on GTA 4. Oh, what, 20 kilometer drive? No way. Fucking hell. Got to drive 20 kilometers to the petrol station. All right, let's try and do it quickly. Ouch. Yeah, you can, but it will give you free in the right top. Oh, right, okay. Let me have a quick look now, Sean. Right, so I've got captions, report quality, uh, playback speeds, help and feedback or cancel, or watching VR. Hmm. What about these three dots? Top chat, some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. Live chat, all messages are visible. I haven't got a clue. Oh, I've got to go to your channel, have I? Okay, hold on. What's your channel again? What's your channel? Is it Sean Gaming? Or Sean F Gaming something? Big Blue Lizard Gaming, okay. When there's a cutscene on here, I'll uh, I'll have a look.
you a few questions. Hi, of course. Have I done something wrong? No, no, but you might be able to help us with a case. Oh, okay. Well then, far away. Did you see anyone helping themselves to the pile of stones here? Well, they don't get counted, of course, but I did actually see something. Some guy was sneaking around the construction site not that long ago. When he saw me, he got into his car quickly and drove off. There was something not quite right about it. Did you notice anything else? Yes, but it probably isn't important. Sean, sure, I'm on your channel. Ha what do I click now? Ah, wow, you were blocked. Unblock user. How are you blocked? Right, sorry about that, bro. I definitely didn't block you. I don't know what's happened there. Try and type something now. Mm, yes, that's him. He was also wearing the same jacket as in the photo. Can you tell me more about the car? Yes, it was a green ATV. A relatively new model. I'm afraid I didn't see the number plate. Thanks a lot. Hey, Stormwolf. Sean, try and say something now. It should work. Anytime. I'll carry on paving them. Oh, you're on your break. Riddles is on a break. Riddles, do share play. What are we meant to do now? Inform Becca back at the station. Roger Beck, Roger Becker. Yeah, we're TP there, I think. Oh no, it's only four kilometres. We drive. Oh no, it's nine kilometres. Yeah, we will TP. Hey noob, a Riddler noob. Do you like the cheesy music on this game? Yeah, just drive until you hit the wall, and it's, then it's good parking. At last, we're making progress. We have a photo of the suspect and a description of the vehicle. Well done. Thanks, Bob. In any case, we need to stay on this before anything worse happens. I believe we'll soon be needing the computer video evaluation room. Right, it's going to be a blue... something for you again. Someone has just reported a suspicious vehicle that looks like it has bullet holes in it. I can't imagine that they're really bullet holes, but we should investigate the matter. Oh, this sounds just like a film. Look at his eyeballs. <laughs> this game, this game. PS2. I'll double check now, Sean, but I'm sure I've done that. It did say you were... Oh, there you are. Yay, there you are, Sean. Uh, for some reason, you were blocked. I don't know how you were blocked, because I'd never block you. Right, where are we going? Reach our destination, eight kilometres away. Yeah, that guy, he had coronavirus, I think. That's why his face was like that. Severe case of coronavirus.
Like eight kilometers. Cool, bro. It's probably when you were drunk. What was that? When you drink. Please stream. Oh shit! All oh, right. I wouldn't intend to do it. I don't know if I clicked it by accident. This game cost me twenty-five pounds. It's probably worth six pounds. Yeah, it's not worth 25 quid. But I bought it, so I'm going to get Platinum Trophy on it. <laughs> That's my mission. Obviously not tonight. but uh, Or today, but definitely uh, in the coming weeks. We're gonna have to. I think we're gonna do a chase now. Oh, he's legging it. He's legging it, and he's PS2. Oh, he's getting in his car. Oh, here we go. Can I drive across the grass? Yes, I can. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my fucking god! Come on. Come on, it's meant to be a BMW. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, let's go. stops now what take him to custody <laughs> yeah that run was that run that run was awesome that you made PS2 run you shouldn't look too upset I'd go with her any day uh, where's my car what why does it spawn me up here the fuck Oh my god, this game, this game. Oh, it's so glitchy. How am I going to get down there? Stupid. 
I'd rather get orbital cannoned by the L's guy on GTA than deal with this shit. Steal a car. You can't steal a car. <laughs> Right, let's take this, this guy into custody then. Get back to the station. I'm not driving 20 kilometers. I'll TP there. <laughs> Number one try hard. <laughs> killed his. Uh, we killed his. Um, oh, what was it? His fanboy. Killed his fanboy a few times yesterday. Hey Riddles, my foot warmers. Very nice. Oh, we get to beat him up in the question room, do we? Go on, smash his head against the table. Go on, go on. Smash his head against the table. Can I shoot him in the head? How do I pull my gun out? Just shoot him in the head now, after all that. <laughs> right, investigate the suspect. Oh, investigate the suspicious vehicle. Oh, his vehicle got brought back for it. Did it? Yeah, I got my old man foot warm, it's lovely. Oh, we can open the doors, can we? Is my police intuition. How do we go first person? Nothing special. They really are bullet holes. Ooh, bullet holes. But he's got a shotgun. Wow, this really is a large amount of drugs. Ooh. It's definitely not for personal use. <laughs> this is so hard to cringe. The cringe. Can't take any more cringe. Investig interrogate suspects, okay. Now we can slam his head against the desk, hopefully. <laughs> Kick the door in. Poof! It's the police eye. Wait, where's the suspect? Oh, we left the door open so he could just walk out. Go on, slap him in the head. Well, Mr. Vita, you've caused a lot of trouble. Running from the police, resisting police authority, and we have found not only bullet holes in your car, but also a large quantity of drugs. You appear to lead a very exciting life. Tell us something about it. Don't I have the right hey, to Dan. If you want to make things unnecessarily complicated, yes. But the evidence is clearly against you, so you should be as cooperative as possible. Okay. And ask your questions. Bullet holes, yeah. Where did the bullet holes in your vehicle come from? Yeah, a difference of opinion with a client. From a drug deal gone wrong? Exactly. Motorway toilets. Oh yeah. What were you doing there before you did a <laughs> No, we don't want to know what he was doing there. <laughs> a business. Autobahn toilets are known as a place where there isn't much snooping around. Yeah, I bet there is. They're ideal for people like me. That's good to know. Who do the drugs in your boot belong to? No comment. As you wish. I have all the information I need. Thanks for your cooperation. You sniffing? 
crack of hookers' asses. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, riddles. Right, we've got to inform the boss. I want to congratulate you on the arrest. That was good work. Thanks. However, there is probably more to it. The interrogation revealed that the Autobahn toilets are a popular drug dealing spot. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Thousand points for all that. Right, let's upgrade my training. Oh yay, who got a trophy? Oh, I've got a go oh, I got a gold trophy. I've got two trophies. The collar doesn't go round all the way round my neck, does it not? I think you might be right actually. It's at the back it's missing, isn't it? Maybe. Uh, right, what's the next mission then? Oh, let's speak to these guys over here, these sexist guys that don't like women cops. Can we talk to them yet? Nope. Fucking doors. Yeah, I was contacting the Chinese with that buzzing. Oh, some men's toilets. Here's something else for you. Doesn't seem to be anything special. A lorry briefly lost control and is scraped along the crash barrier. Take a look. We're en route. Should we take the van for this one? That's the traffic. Yeah, let's take the van. Oh, 18 kilometers. Wow. It's going to be a long drive. What's the background? What, what does that say that Stormwolf put on there? What's the sound in the background? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I was just contacting the Chinese authorities about the coronavirus. Uh, Dan, are you still here? Because um, you've literally got to run up to those random people in the station. And then you get the missions... Eighteen kilometer drive. Dickheads. What a dickhead. Yeah, you can, Dan. you just got to go to the right person. If you look on the mini-map, there'd be like a little blue eye symbol. And try and get to the blue eye symbol, but it not, might not be on the same level as you. So you've got to, like, go up the stairs or down the stairs to find the person that wants to talk to you. The first mission is the boss guy, which is on the upper level where the computer is.
I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? No, I haven't, um... Haven't heard of that YouTuber before. A deer suddenly jumped onto the road and I instinctively swerved to avoid it. Then I clipped the crash barrier. I see. So we have minor bodywork and paint damage. And which way did the deer go? It went back into the forest on the other side. That doesn't sound so bad, but I smell alcohol. Have you been drinking? Could I see your driving license? Of course. Here you go. And now, Mr. Kedge, could you please answer my question? Well, yes, but I've only had a couple of beers. I'm so sorry. It has nothing to do with the accident. It wasn't my fault. I'd like you to do a breathalyzer test. All right. Okay, please blow. Your breath alcohol concentration is 0.55 parts per thousand. Although it's close, it's still too much. Oh, come on. I can't afford a driving van. My family and I depend on this job. You should have thought of that before. You drive for a living and should not drink at all. You're right. It was stupid of me. It will never happen again. Please, have a heart. Well, okay. I'll let you off this once. Make sure that I don't regret it. Oh, thank you so, so much. I will not disappoint you. You're a good person. Wait until the effects of the alcohol have worn off before you carry on driving. Don't let the next emergency call be because of you. shouldn't have done that. I felt sorry for him too, but you cannot allow that to affect your decision. I hope for your sake that you don't regret it.
Please show me your license and registration. Thank you. I'll have a look. I'll come back to you shortly. Right, it's facts. You'll have to come with me. Please step out of the vehicle. Right, guys, I'm going to end the stream there. Thanks for watching. It's been good. It's been good fun.